In a bustling city nestled between towering skyscrapers and hidden alleyways, there lived a curious and imaginative young girl named Lila. She wasn't just any ordinary girl. Lila possessed an extraordinary gift, the ability to travel through time. Her adventures began one chilly afternoon when she stumbled upon an ancient pocket watch resting atop an old chest that shimmered with an otherworldly glow in the attic of her grandmother's house, filled with vintage trinkets and dusty heirlooms. It was a peculiar watch with intricate engravings and a tiny button nestled amidst the golden frame. Without hesitation, Lila pressed the button, and suddenly, the world around her began to swirl in a whirlwind of colors and light. When the whirlwind settled, Lila found herself in a lush green forest with towering trees and a vibrant flora and fauna, her awe evident as she takes in the natural beauty around her. Before her stood a figure draped in a long flowing robe, writing furiously in a journal under a towering oak tree. Hello there! Lila greeted the figure, who turned out to be none other than the famed scientist and inventor Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo looked up from his journal, surprised yet delighted by the unexpected visitor. With a twinkle in his eye, he invited Lila to join him into a realm of boundless creativity and invention. The tabletop scattered with sketches of flying machines, tools, and scraps of materials. They spent the afternoon discussing inventions, drawing fantastical sketches, and even constructing miniature models of flying machines, bringing their ideas to life. As the sun dipped below the horizon, the pocket watch tingled in Lila's hand, signaling the time to move on. Lila said goodbye and thanks to Da Vinci for everything as she prepares to depart from this wondrous encounter. And with a blink, she found herself in a grand palace adorned with intricate tapestries and bustling with courtiers. In the midst of the palace, she encountered the legendary Queen Cleopatra of Egypt, seated on an ornate throne, radiating regal elegance. Her gaze meets Lila with a mix of curiosity and wisdom in her eyes. The queen was preparing for a grand feast and welcomed Lila with open arms. Together, they adorned themselves in splendid attire, danced to the rhythmic beats of music, and indulged in sumptuous delicacies while Cleopatra shared tales of her kingdom's wonders. A hint of dawn peeking through the palace, signaling the passage of time. The pocket watch glows softly, its light catching Lila's eye as she prepares to bid farewell to Queen Cleopatra and the dazzling world of ancient Egypt. Lila's journey through time beckoned her elsewhere. This time, she found herself in a laboratory filled with bubbling potions and peculiar contraptions, whirring machinery and shelves lined with curious instruments. Standing before her was a man with wild hair and a mischievous smile, none other than the great physicist, Sir Isaac Newton. With Sir Isaac Newton as her guide, Lila eagerly engaged in experiments, charts, and diagrams with Newton. Their hands manipulating apparatus and observing phenomena with a shared fascination and excitement between the two, as discoveries unfold and principles of physics come to life. As the time went by, Lila once again said farewell to her new friend Newton as she continues on another adventure. As the adventures unfolded through different eras and realms, Lila learned valuable lessons from each historical figure, from da Vinci's creativity to Cleopatra's leadership and Newton's curiosity. With the pocket watch as her guide, she ventured forth, eager for more adventures and the wisdom they held. Behind her, the vibrant landscapes of different eras fade away, leaving her poised for new adventures with a heart brimming with curiosity and anticipation. For Lila, time was not just a measure. It was an extraordinary journey through history itself.